So yeah, Halo. <laughs> Dude, I'm just really confused on to how what they're adding. Or I'm not sure if the update's already been out. I, I think I seen a Mixlens video about it because I done I done saw it on like Halo's official Instagram, but just talking about their new update. Oh, and I saw I saw the trailer for it too. That's why. Why did that not? Why was the, everything that they added UI wise not a season one? Just kind of like patch. Because on season one, when the game came out, everyone was like, yo, where the frick are the playlists at? Like, how can we like like mix and match our, our gameplay? Right. And they did not for, what, three years now? They finally added it? Just It's, it's almost too late, in, in my opinion. Dude, I think it is. I genuinely think it's too late for them to add something like that. That's a bare bone. Um, implication. They they brought it back like, hey, look, we can do this now. What do you mean we can do it now? We've been able to do it <laughs> for the past like eight games. <laughs> for real, it's nothing new. Black Ops did the same bullshit. Did you see the um, Black Ops Six trailer too? Yeah, that actually looks kind of decent, but I'd have to like use the use it. You know, the omnidirectional mm-hmm. shit and the diving and all that. Yeah. Now, my thing is is that the same thing with them is that they're doing the same thing that Halo just did, where they're like, look at this new thing we added. Yeah, the Omni movement looks cool and all, but we've had Max Payne before. So it's not nothing we've never seen. We've, it's not like we've never seen this before. Right, it's not like and it's a new and, thing. <laughs> and they're all like prissy and like, oh, like, oh look at us, we, we did this. Like trying to, trying to like make us look like we're stupid. As if they like... They, you know, like, like oh, you've never really it. seen this before. Like, we invented it, you know. Forget yeah, all that other all stuff like, in the past. Yeah, they're they're trying to toot their own horn, essentially. When and it, people like me, I'm not. I'm just been like, well, it, it looks cool, but uh, the past few Call of Duty's have been pretty rough, to Black say the Six least. It's not going to be a game, man. Don't get your hopes up. I'm just telling you that right now. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get it, honestly. I fell off a cod, you know, after, like, Black Ops 2 area. <laughs> the good one. And then I uh, haven't really played any other cod. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn, you didn't even, get a, you didn't even play BO3, dog? Oh, no, some of BO3. I was but I'm, say 10 years ago. Yeah. But, like, none of these, like, Advanced Warfare and none of that. I heard Vanguard was like total doggy do. <laughs> That's the one card I haven't bought yet. <laughs> I don't think I will. And Cold War wasn't too hot. Like they just been having stinkers come out. Yep. Cold War was. Ugh. The whole uh, buying loot boxes and you might get a pay to win yeah. gun. Maybe like that, that started sh- in BO3. I'm never, that was a BO3. That I'm never forgetting true. that. <laughs> like you don't forget that was stuff BO3 like that. And Infinite Warfare. Yeah, it's yeah. bullshit. They started messing. That was like that was like the turning point because the mm-hmm. games were still fun. Right. They, all the classes and shit. But they did they did add the EXO movement, which was weird at first. Still boots on the ground ish compared to what we have now with all the sliding shit, like really sweat like movement. But like that movement from back in the day was, it was all right. Black Ops Three movement was okay. Like I didn't mind wall running and shooting people in the head because the guns felt like Black Ops Two guns in in a, in a way cooler looking game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, dude. Yeah, no. Ever since uh, Modern Warfare twenty nineteen, we've been screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Black Ops Four was okay. That just it was a weird game. They just they, they tried a lot with it. Right. I also um, think that the game the game should just it should not come out every year, no matter what different company or franchise is making the next one. It's like actually just take a minute. Oh, my doors open. Yeah, take like some time to like truly innovate and like. Come out with yeah. good gameplay and 
I've been watching a lot of like Call of Duty videos. Like the fall of Call of Duty is Call of Duty dead, and been playing well, a lot of X dead. Defiant. Like it's just so crazy right now the uh, the landscape and the history. Yeah, it's big, dude. I remember big playing history. Call of Duty two on Xbox three sixty. <laughs> That must have been fun. Dude, that shit was crazy. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> you had um oh God, you dude. had like Price and like all these other soldiers like with you in the battlefield fighting and shit, you know? Saying awesome lines and hyping you up. And then like now it's like I don't know, it just sucks. Yeah, I know. It's, it's all bad. just like actors talking, it's boring as hell. Yep. And it sucks because there's a, there, like, again, like, there's this big train of, of people that are just, in my opinion, they're just noobs. Because they're like, oh, no, no, for real this time, guys. For real this time. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know we've been burned in the past, but look mm-hmm. at what they're doing. Look at what Treyarch is doing. Yeah. They, 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 the army movement, they, they're, you know, they're bringing back round based zombies. I'm like, dog. I don't mm. care if they show me Black Ops 2 remastered. Yes. I'm going to shoot them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's they're, they're, You already know the game's going to launch in a very weird state. It's going to be all bugged and shit. It's going to be all bare bones. And the maps are going to be shit. And then, you know, everyone's going to get through their, like, their monthly camo grind. And then, I guarantee you, there's going to be a a whole lot of anime skin packs. Yep. The, the war, yeah. What, what's the, what's all these Black Ops fanboys that are like going crazy right now? Find out that Warzone is going to be in their new game. <laughs> 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 just another version of Warzone. Because they apparently, I think they just kill their battle royale every time a new uh, game comes out. But it's still called Warzone, quote unquote. But they just like change. They change it to the next engine, essentially. And, oh, uh, they what engine? Like, well, okay. So since uh, 2019, Warzone was like really, really popular, like OG Verdansk and stuff. And right. uh, once they killed that, because 2019 after that one, it was a uh, fuck. It was a uh, Cold War. Wait, what came after 2019? It was Cold War, right? Well, there was that Modern Warfare 2, right? Modern Warfare no, uh, Roman Numeral 2 or whatever. Yeah, but that was after Cold War. Oh, so it went, after. Okay, so 2019. Vanguard? No. Van, no, Vanguard was after Cold War. So, so oh, wow, dude. What a terrible time. <laughs> Get this. 2019, and then Cold War. And then when they switched from that to Cold War. Warzone stayed the same for about a year and then they like nuked the map apparently and then they got rid of Warzone like you couldn't even go into it with your old skins everything was gone they wiped the game but then they came out with Warzone 2 um and fucking like two years later with uh, Modern Warfare 2's release and uh that shit was terrible it was it was everything we liked about the, the first Battle Royale because it was decent Right. And then they fucking raped it. They raped it up the ass. <laughs> Unreal, dude. Yeah, and so now we, and then it's the still, it's the same war zone from two from from two years ago because they they released Modern Warfare three, which is literally just Modern Warfare two um, DLC. You know, shitty campaign, another shitty campaign that's just yeah. with the same stupid characters, continuing the story, quote unquote. And then there's like all these anime packs selling Warzone. I mean, we really got gimped with this uh, Modern Warfare Three thing that they did. They sold me a game I've already bought. Right. Really... Literally, like literally reused pieces of maps and shit. You can play, dude. That's the thing. You can use your skins from Modern Warfare Two, and all your guns, like camos and stuff, in Modern Warfare Three, and you can use. You can play on maps that war were in that Modern Warfare 2 game. So, and the engine's the same, or it's tweaked a little bit when you when you switch over, which is really really weird because you can, on the home screen, uh, connect to Modern Warfare 2 as a game, 
which is just so weird because it, it takes you into another screen that just takes you into the other game that doesn't have every other thing in it. But once you go into MW3, you can play with other guns and then a couple more maps. It's super weird. That is like, nuts. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Like, it's just... It's, it's yeah, all it's over the place. Like, too much to... Too, yeah. It's like, wait, if I can use these guns in this game and not these guns in this game, it's like... Y'all just really did sell Modern Warfare 2 over again. <laughs> it's weird. Another negative downfall of yearly releasing. Yeah, it was bad. The zombies was terrible. DMZ was stupid. Frick. Yeah, no, this Halo thing, though, it, it, it rubbed me the wrong way. Cause it looked great. Like the, everything looked great, but I was like, "Wait a second, why didn't we get this at the start, man?" I know. It should have been no, it should have been no, but like one week after the game came out, and it should have been instant feedback. We would have been like, "Yeah, okay, um, good game, and all nice weapons, but uh, change the uh, playlist, please." <laughs> <laughs> just uh, hit the little switch. Yeah, just uh, do a little more. Just do something. <laughs> But it took them three years to even consider it. Yeah, they unfortunately. Do, they, like, purposely don't listen to us until the way in. Like I said, this is the way in. This is the last... What Mint what said, it's like it could be the last big update they'll ever get. And it is going to be the last big update. Which is so sad. What, for Infinite, you're saying? Yeah. Because, I mean, if they would have done that at the beginning, it would have kept more people... That like aren't like the diehards like leading you on. I remember how like the numbers of Halo Infinite were huge on the first week because there was nothing else to play in the day. Right. So all the streamers were just playing Infinite for like a week and a half, and player retention was super high. That's why the servers kept crashing. Yeah, it, like surged um, in the beginning, and then really, it was like million. There was at least a million people online or some shit. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. People were like, "Oh wait, there's nothing guys. to do," and then it was over. They never came yeah, back. Was, yeah, no, all the people that would have been playing mm -hmm. aren't here when, when they wanted that. And now, now, now that three years have gone by and <laughs> everyone's basically forgotten about the game, they're like, oh, yeah. Also, we have the all-new mode editor. And I'm like, um, <laughs> all new? <laughs> or you guys forgot to put that shit in the game on launch. <laughs> And, and just now kind of fixing your shit. Yeah, it's such a travesty. And on the way out. How money ruined shit. Know. Money ruined Halo. It ruined Call of Duty. Dude, Halo Infinite is literally just like an online Bitcoin mine. <laughs> for, 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 for weapon skins. Basically. It's so fucked up, the state of it. The bare boneness of it for how long it was bare bones. Because, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll grant you this. There's a lot of content in the game now. But on launch, dude, I mean, that game looked like it was uh, a it beta. Looked, it looked like we were... It looked, yeah, Forever. Dude, it looked like an early access. We, we played an early access beta for two years of our lives. Insane. Before it started getting good. Season 2 came out like two years later, huh? <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. I think it was Season 2 or Season 3 where it was like, finally, they could, they'd started doing stuff. Yeah, there wasn't even seasons like right away. It took them a while. It took them a while to do everything. We don't even know what we want. We just want new weapons, new maps, new colors that aren't you don't have to buy. Like just give them to give us free mm -hmm. shit for once. Let let us like I wish there was like a point system like reach. Where you unlock the armor as you go. Oof. Yeah, there's there's a lot of so many oh, fucking yeah. issues and money and companies and just modern oh. gaming, you know, and just the fact of like they want you to play their next game, you know. They don't want you to stay on the last year's game. They want you to go to the next one. So, like, especially Call of Duty. Oh, it's so annoying. Halo's not really like that. Mm -mm. I mean, they want to be like that. Like, if they could, if, if if they had like the same like brain rotted like player base as COD, they would make a new game every year and just call it like Halo Infinite Two. And it, it would be the same game. You don't you don't actually buy a new game. Like when you update it, it's like up Halo just infinite updates and there's a two on the emblem yeah 
They did that with Overwatch. I know, too, right? Quote unquote. It's just the same game. Like you, you can literally put your Overwatch one disc in, but it's Overwatch two because it updated it. Like it's just a big update. Mm-hmm. And calling it a sequel. When they, when they, that's another thing too. When they freaking announced Overwatch two, I was excited. I was like, oh my god, a campaign as Overwatch characters? That's going to be fun. Yeah. And then, then they dumbed it down. No, nah, it's not going to be a campaign more, so. It's going to be a uh, story-based uh, like character mode where you can pick your character and then play missions. And I'm just like, uh, that's like, kind of different. It's like, <laughs> it sucks. They like totally lied. And then like two years later, it finally came out. And then, like, leading up to the release of it, they're like, yeah, well, we're not, we kind of scrapped that campaign idea that got y'all really excited. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Um, and now it's just, like, a PvE. You fighting some robots with your, like, fake team. Yeah, it's honestly a mess because the, hey, the tanks are really unusable, and I don't even know if they fix that. Well, that game is never going to be fixed. There's always going to be like, something going on. You're never going to get, like, the Overwatch 1 experience again. No. The pro scene is gone. I remember I used to, I was able to get kills, like, really, like, like, like crazy kill streaks. Just because you would boot up on, in the fresh days of, of, of it. And there would just be other people that were just kind of noobish, like, shooter players. And they were just, oh, yeah, I'll play this game. And you could literally, like, go... If you weren't in, like, a ranked lobby, dude, you could just, like, mince people. Yeah. I remember... Yeah, like you said, you, there is nothing that's going to be Overwatch one day. Like, if you, if you didn't play it while Overwatch 1 was a thing, then you missed out. Because yeah, trying to play 2 out. is, like, crazy. Yeah, 2 is just not the same at all. No, and it's not even just that. It's just every everyone that's playing 2 are, like, the, the Overwatch nerds. Like, they're, those are the... um. Fuck, not Valve. Who, who created Overwatch? Blizzard. They're they're just Blizzard nerds. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they're they're fanboys. They're just, that's all they are. So of course they're gonna glaze the game. You know, it, it, yeah, glaze the fucking game that's literally a downgraded version of what you used to play six years ago. Like, yeah, that's just a common Blizzard L, Blizzard fanboy L right there. Trying to defend it, and so I had—I actually did have a friend who like, "No, well, it's not that bad, uh, dude. It's not bad, but you freaking boot up the game in a quick play lobby, and the dude has like—he's like fucking seventh prestige, three thousand le- like seven thousand levels on his like character. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like it's different. It's not how it used to be. How it used to be is that it was a genuine multiplayer connective game. There was a drink mode, but it also yeah. had casual shit like." for people that just wanted to play the game. And since it was a really popular game, people were actually playing it. Like, nowadays, like, the lobby, they're just, like, you. Ha- it takes a minute to get into them, and once you do, you're just in with, like, people that have been playing it since the launch. So you're going to get shit on. And it's just not fun. Because, like, again, it's just the Blizzard fanboys. They're like, oh, yeah, look at me. It's me and, and, and my, my, my ultra rare skin that I got eight years ago at, at the, <laughs> the Overwatch off. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. It's fucking travesty. Back in the day, I used to like take Roadhog and I'd just go crazy. I would kill so many people. Back yeah, Roadhog was great. Yeah, I mean, you could really like do shit with him. You could hook people and then like bring them to your face and then shoot them in the face and then they'd be dead. Yeah, like, it's it like one combat. shot. I know, like all the light characters you could kill with that. And it was so fun. And yelling people out of fucking nowhere and they'd be like, oh! Oh. Junk Rat was really fun. I mean, they nerfed the fuck out of him, too. He used to just be able to, like, shoot one of his uh, balls up in the air, like, randomly over a building, and it, you would see, like, the kill marker. Because it hit someone in the head. Right. <laughs> you know, nowadays, it would be, like, just a little hit marker because of all the shieldage going on. The shieldage and the fucking... Like, the, the physical shields in the game and just the fact that there's so many, like, boosters now, like, for health and stuff. Yeah, health and the healers are insane. Like, armor. Like, some some of the healers will give you, like, uh, armor. I think that one girl, Brigade, she gives you armor or whatever. And so it's just, like, you can't even, like, kill people now, like, with one yeah, shot no. like that. Like, you can't have, like, fun moments. No. 
I always all, played Reinhardt. I was Reinhardt was like my life. I played so many hours of Reinhardt, and he's just unviable in two. He really is. Yeah. I'll go up and like his name's like Malga or something. You ever heard of him, Malga, the new tank or whatever? Uh, yeah, the little robot looking nigga. Fucking, he's unkillable. I'm just like hitting him with my hammer. It's like it not do doing anything. It's like what the fuck? This is yeah. not fun at all. And then you gotta wait months for them to make a change, and then that fucks something else up. And hey, honestly, just be happy that it happened and that you experienced it while it was actually good. Because now, now that I'm like actually remembering back to like 2016 Overwatch, yeah, that's like my daughter it was, was such born. a good <laughs> precursor of a game before Fortnite came out. Like, think about all the games that were out popular. Uh, Overwatch was like the perfect, probably the perfect game. Like, and I, I mean it. It was a good game. It, yeah, it, it was. <laughs> I'm defending old Overwatch right now. I genuinely am. It was a really good game. It was so good. Everything you could unlock in the game was for free, essentially. I mean, you you had the option to put money into it if you didn't want to wait, but you had the incentive to grind levels. Like, oh my god, wait a second. I just leveled up. It gave me a loot box, and then that loot box gave me a really cool skin. Yeah, exactly. That I would have had to buy, pay $10 for if I didn't just open this and grind. And so, that and then on the fact that you could get money, like you could get in-game money for free just from playing, from opening up more loot boxes, yep. and then you would just build up the coins over a while and get every. You could literally unlock everything with just buying the base game. Yeah, you could just be like, "Oh shit, I'll save this," you know. Or that was the one I'm game. Spend all my coins or whatever. Yeah, that was the one game that figured out loot boxes in the right way. And yeah. now they don't even have those joints anymore in that game. Oh, I don't even know what the state of it is. Dude, I, I, I don't even have it installed. I paid for Overwatch 2 like an idiot. Yeah, me paid too. Paid for it. It's a $40 <laughs> thing. Me too. Yeah, 40, 40 fucking bucks down the drain. Hey, you, wanna, you want Overwatch 1 with five characters instead of six? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> the people trying to defend Overwatch 2 are like bottom feeding. Libs, bro. Like, I just cannot trust that. Yeah, they fucking. I don't, I, don't know. I want to look it up on Twitch. How many people? Yeah, I mean, you'll have people playing it. That's, it's Twitch too. There's, it's overstimulated or oversaturated. Yeah, you always have that hardcore Everyone's fan base that. too. Like I said, it's Blizzard. Any any Blizzard or Valve game that comes out, like Dota or CS:GO or fucking World of Warcraft or anything in those IPs, are just huge. And then you got COD, which is also just another problem in itself. Because you got people like me that are, I'm a COD fanboy, but I'm not a COD fanboy enough to freaking support what they're doing. Yeah, what they're doing nowadays. There is a big problem out there. There are people that are just like movement obsessed. And I'm like, dude, like you're brain rotting from all these new games, like all these new, like fast paced modern warfare games. You did not survive a day. On Black Ops Two back in the day, yeah, right. <laughs> goddamn Omni movement and that shit, boy. You, you want to sh- show me the OG Omni movement? Just dolphin dive really well on on the right frame of a corner, bro. You, you're good. Right. We had the same shit back in the day. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. God. We just couldn't shoot while we were at mid roll. Not like Max Payne, but we could do shit. We could maneuver around just fine. But then they started adding everything. The moment I saw that you could slide in the game, I was like, well, can we just go back? Can we just go back, like, five more steps, please? Like, like we don't need that. No, we don't. <laughs> just make them run forward. Make them run backwards. Side, side, and, side, side, and then we're good. Dolph, add a dolphin dive, too. Lose the, lose the little slide mechanic. Like, we just completely lose that, but... I don't think we'll ever get a Call of Duty that you can't slide in over again because you know how those dudes are. There's some dudes are just obsessed with just sliding over and over. I've seen it. They just slide. Yeah, they slide, abuse slide. it. Um, yeah, when I'm watching people play Warzone, they're just sliding around like slide, 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 run, sprint, slide, slide, <laughs> slide. And nothing's even happening. They're just sliding around. I'm like, dude, you're brain rotting. This company's making you do this right now. I wonder if that's like. If there's like some alternate way that it like it creates energy, yeah, right. <laughs> for, for their company, like every time you hit A and D to slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, it literally like powers their facility or something. 
it boggles me too because Call of Duty, it's it's not going down anywhere, or like it's not gonna go downhill, kind of like how Halo can, because unlike Halo or you know, COD, unlike Halo, just has always no matter what they do, they can literally come out with a game that isn't Call of Duty, like it could be like a My Little Pony like point and click, and then they just call it Black Ops Seven, people would still play it. Like probably it, it just still playing it and i'm like dude this is the whole problem you boycott the game and not buy it one year like everyone just tries to collectively like sabotage it or like like let's all do like a community not buy this year then it would wake them up yeah seriously we don't do that we literally do the complete opposite we all buy it like and then a couple more things in the shop and just like just like that they have like a billion dollars from like the first week of sales because Everyone just wanted to try it out once before. And I'm guilty of it, too. I was like, well, I'm going to get the new one next year. But I just want to try it out before I throw it out. Because I know it's going to be bad, but I just want to see for myself. Yeah, I just want to try it. And, and now i got to quit doing that because I know, like, this November, I'm going to get antsy. And I'm going to be like, well, camo grinding is some somewhat fun. I just like to camo grind. I mean, I, I used to do it every year. But it's like, if I do that this year, it's, I'm just going to waste like a $70, you know, $70 on a game that I'm going to get mad at and be mad about the entire time it's out. Right. I'm just not buying it this year. Pain and time and money wasted. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm just like upset. Like, I feel like, I feel like if like, there was just like a community, like an r slash Reddit or like a big like Facebook page. It was just like people to just be like all agreeing to like, hey, let's just not buy the game. Like let's 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 make it a thing where we camp outside the GameStop or we camp outside the fishing store and just instead one day just go do something else. Right. Not buy the new COD this year. See how they like it, you know. But that's not gonna happen. You know that's not gonna happen. They're already promoting you fish for COD. Fish for COD instead of. Buy it and oh, play it. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Let's go fish for cod, dog. <laughs> you getting cod? Yeah, man. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Actually, actually get lost. something useful. <laughs> for real, dude. A fish is more useful and worthy than than Your game that you put billions of dollars into over the years. Yeah. No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it this year though. I'm just not gonna buy it. Yeah. Because I know it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna buy it, have it for two months, and then be like, ugh, this game is exactly this game is terrible. Why not? I'm gonna be like, why did I buy that? Right. <laughs> you know. And you can't why get a refund. You can't get shit. Oh hell no. You locked in, and now now you have 300 gigabytes gone. Yeah, exactly. That was another, uh, huh? It'll be 300 gigs on launch, dude. And that's just on launch before all the updates and anime packs and everything that they large into the store. Yeah, this game's going to end up being 500 up by the end of dude, it, the it's, life cycle. It's bullshit. And you know what? It's a, it's a conspiracy, but it's not. Um, someone had some proof thing about it, but it was like, if your game is a shitload of space, you're more likely to not delete it. You know what I mean? And you're more likely yeah. to have less games on your on your console, so, so they like taking up real it. estate. Yeah, they take up real estate space on your hard drive Ugh. on purpose. <laughs> it's almost like they're putting malware in your fucking Xbox every yeah. time they fucking. Yeah, dude. It really does, dude. And that is why I'm playing the shit out of X Defiant. Honestly, it's got maybe that should be the move. Just a I lot of not of those problems, like dude. <laughs> yeah. Like that Mark Rubin guy that worked on COD 4 and the CODs back in the day working on this and no SBMM, no OEMM. What is OEMM? OEMM is like worse than uh, skill-based matchmaking. What does it stand for? Uh, Engagement. What is it? Engagement optimized matchmaking. That's what it is. So oh, it's like, wow. yeah, a framework that aims to increase player engagement in games. Authors of the EOM, 
ELM and paper argue that pairing players with similar skills to create a fair game isn't always the best way to achieve engagement. So does it just, it just, it doesn't look for people? It's a, it's an in-game thing that happens to your character? Yeah, yeah, and it's in Call of Duty. Frames. Okay, so basically what you're telling me is that yeah, it's different than frame, skill-based matchmaking. So does it make your frames, like, j more jiggier than the other person to help the other guy out? Yeah, it kind of, like if you're winning a lot, it'll fucking make put you against sweats. You know what I mean? Oh my god! Shit like that, and you've experienced that, right? You know, like yep. it, it's almost like a casino, like whether you win or lose, and like the players you get on your team. Because they right. found out that like if you win all the time, it's not like super fun. So they want to make you like lose sometimes, and like uh. they just fuck with everything. They're getting too technical. So, like, this EOMM has been in Call of Duty, I think, I don't know about Halo, but... Yeah, it appears that we actually live in a state of EOMM more than SBMM, but one that employs known SBMM logic and systems, which would explain why you have three excellent games in a row, which all appear to be SBMM related, only get steamrolled on your... Oh, wait, never mind. It's a preset thing that happens almost... It's like it's coded into it. Yeah, it's like in it. Oh, what a cesspool. It really is a cesspool, dude. Bro, they didn't even change the UI. It's the same shitty, over-advanced UI, again. Where there's just like a gunsmith. There's like five different screens of a battle pass that hit you when you first launch up the game. You already know that's going to happen. Yeah. Call of Duty. I, I, every time, Call I, every Duty. time I play it now, I, I say it like that because it used to be Call of Duty. You know, you get on, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. But now it's Call of Duty. It's literally just a little Indian mobile game now, dude. <laughs> That's all it is. Either of them, dude, their final products are literally mobile games. Yeah. Call of Duty. Everybody, you want to play some Call of Duty? Yeah, sure. Let me hook up to my fucking yeah. router, my router real quick. Plug my yeah. like, box in <laughs> Not just Call of Duty, but Call of Duty Mobile. <laughs> well, they do have that too. And honestly, I've heard, I see a lot of people. If they, if they, if they brought mobile to the Xbox game, they, that would just be the, the the one game to play. Cause it has like every classic map in there, like every. It, it, it's like a, it's like a legacy game for COD, but it's on mobile, so it's like, bruh. <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah>. God. <laughs> Thanks for making your one legacy game a mobile game. Because I've heard a lot of people like, dude, if you could play this with like mouse or keyboard or controller, I mean, you can. You just have to do like weird shit with your phone. Yeah, you have to do weird but, like, shit. If you made it like a real game, like a real game, people would fucking love it. Like, but that's the thing; they don't. Want, I don't think they want you loving the game. I think they just want you to kind of play it and then buy some cool shit to flex on people in the lobby. That's really it. Money, player retention. It sucks. Shit sucks. Yeah, it's. What else did they add into Halo though? Because I saw that they did a, a couple other things, but I kind of forgot. They added stuff. Well, I, the update just had very interesting things, and I was like, "Oh wow, I would have really liked this like two years ago." <laughs> yeah, right. I don't even. I didn't even check for an update yet. It's on their Instagram. To see it. They had like a whole trailer on the new season. Yeah, I played ranked after playing a buttload of this, and it was it went so bad. I was embarrassed, dude. Mm. Yeah, it was like fucking one of that Halo Five map ranked four versus four with DMRs regular ranked arena. I got like no kills or like one, dude. It was horrible. I was like, what the fuck is happening to me right now? Dude was like, quit. Dude got in the chat and was like, quit. He was like, please quit. <laughs> I was like, what the. That's insane, dude. So I'm wondering if it's like I'm just super used to this or like am I really feeling like the lag and like netcode error of Halo, you know, and how shitty it's always been? They say they fix the internet for it, but it's it's always going to 
be janky. So in the lifespan of Halo Infinite, they only added one gun. <laughs> don't even don't. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> They've only they only only one weapon ever added to the game. Because you know Halo Universe has like no weapons in it. No, nothing. It's too basic. Unreal. <laughs> On fucking to go off. And it's because if they made a new gun and the bullets you would shoot out of it would fuck with something else because it was made by like shit. Bubble bubblegum and tape. So this this new Halo coming to the PlayStation, supposedly. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Dude, I can cool. I believe it. It's crazy, man. It's cra- crazy that like, they didn't add any weapons. Why yeah, no, they they, I know. They could have just added mad weapons and like we would have been fine. But all you guys can do is have skins in the shop for like thirty dollars. Are you fucking with me? That's what you are. Like that's what you care about. <laughs> oh, you're just trying to get all your money back. Trying to break even or some shit. They probably never did with this game, bro. Yeah, probably not. They probably fucking failed so hard. They did, dude. I want Pod to fail, though. That's, that's what needs to happen. Because they don't fail. Yeah. That's like my only issue with Call of Duty. So they never end up failing. It's no matter what they make. They, bro, I, dude, I'm going to tell you this right now. I, I will play Halo Infinite any day over any of these new cons. Like, I would rather play Halo Infinite over and over and over and over. Uh, but it failed. The game fucking failed. And your con is being, like, super bad. Like, it's not even playable, dude. It's genuinely not playable. Like, you ne- never play that shit. And uh, they, they're way more successful because of their IPs. Like, tag their name. Right. Like, come on, dog. They're not what we want. Add the weird shit into the game. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Even Snoop Dogg being added is just like, wait a second. Mm-hmm. They're trying they're to be like to uh, Fortnite, that's why. I would have been really mad if Halo would have had anything like that. Yeah, I would have been the done. Fuck. That would have been the day that I was done. I would have deleted every Halo. I would have even deleted Master Chief Collection. (laughs) I would have just never came back. It would have been too scarring. Now you boot up in the Halo Infinite Lobby and some dudes like John Cena. (laughs) You you, would like shit yourself. You'd be like, well, there's obviously nothing left to live for. (laughs) Obviously. Unreal. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just trying to copy off Fortnite because like you can be almost any character. It's fucking ridiculous. My daughter oh. plays as Billie Eilish. <laughs> oh, she's literally Billie Eilish running around in Fortnite. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? That's crazy. Like I said, oh, I was telling you this last time. It's gonna be all one big game one day. Yeah, we're, right? we're slowly getting there. Yeah. No, no, dude. Because one day you're gonna wake up and Call of Duty's gonna announce. It. Oh, well, we're merging with uh, EA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be like Ready Player One, yeah. Everything it's together. Very bad. Everything in one thing. And it's going to be bad, though. It's not going to be, like, be good. Yeah, it's going to be bad. And that's what I was saying, and someone said it, too. It's like, you make a game for... You try to make a game for everyone, you make a game for no one. Like, you try to please everybody, you're going to please nobody, you know? So they yeah. really gotta gotta be careful with what they do. I mean, they gotta look at their demographic. All these shooter games and shit, they gotta look at their old demographic. Like, okay, who are our fans? What do they like? We like military stuff. Like battlefield games, I like my battle old school battlefield. Because you're oh, just a foot yeah. soldier. You want this, this like super special ops tactical operator that's like black and shit and like is a girl, you know? Yeah, you were just a dude. You were just a dude in a, in like a, a Russian outfit. Yeah, literally, just a soldier. You could change your camo, like on your skin, but you, like your body style didn't change. Like you would, that's all you could change was like your camo. And if you leveled up enough, there was like special outfits for that. But 
now it's just all meaningless. Yeah. <laughs> And all the cool outfits you have to pay for now. Yeah, Battlefield really messed up with the whole operator thing trying to be special. It's huge. Like, Battlefield is new. First of all, we're not dropping in with, like, sledge and shit. And like, they just, they wanted it to be, like, where it's, like, sellable. Where it's like, oh, my God, look, I'm this guy. From Jump Spacer from Overwatch. Like, they, they wanted that so bad. But it's like, no, 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 no. You gotta look at your, your franchise and see what is so cool about your franchise. The fact that we are just little foot soldiers in this big ass battlefield is so cool. Right. But they were trying to make like named characters. Like female operators. Like, this is so unrealistic. Yeah, I have 26 hours in X Defiant already. <laughs> Woo! Hasn't even been out for that long. <laughs> it's been out for. Less than out three weeks. Less, He's like, it's only been out for 24 hours, but somehow I have 26. Yeah, hours. right. <laughs> Good game, man. It's cool, though. Like, I don't know, man. I'm giving it a fair shake, and it's shaking back. You actually, like, get, re- you actually get rewarded, you know? And you can actually get better. Like, whatever happened to getting better, you know? Like people are afraid. No, not, not in these shooters. People are afraid to like face people better than them. But that's how you get better is by facing people better than you. Oh yeah. But no one wants to put in the work to do better to get better at games. This game you can actually improve. Like, oh shit, I started. I fucking sucked. I was, you know, negative KD, only getting a couple kills, and you like you get better and better. Learn the maps and shit. You learn the maps and. The attachments are pretty fucking sick. Like I have, I run like LMG all the time because I like having a shitload of bullets. Oh my god! So I have the LMG Dude. with like a heavy barrel that adds five percent damage damage boost. Oh my god! Headshots are massive like damage multipliers. So like, it's oh our fucking mow down people. Just shoot them in their head a few times and they die. It's crazy. Dude, to be fair, LMGs are powerful and like. Oh yeah, they really too. are. Like, they had a ban from, like, the COD leagues. Like, you cannot use those in, in any competitive play at all. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I always use them. Like, in Battlefield. Fucking shit. LMG all day. But they are. They're very slow. And they reload. The reload takes forever. You might as well not reload. Yeah, no. If you got a hundred mount rag, just go around and tear stuff up. Yeah, that's all I've been doing, really. I le- the guns go to level 100. I got the LMG to 100 already. <laughs> wow. How many uh, LMGs do they have in the game? Uh, there's only three right now. Dang. Yeah, I have the slower shooting and more damage one. one. The M29 shoots faster, but it's a little weaker. That's the one I maxed yeah, out. Cool. Now I'm on the, this, this other one, the M60. Uh, there's a TAC-50 sniper that's pretty popular. There's only like two snipers. So it's one shot mm. hit, one shot to the chest and kill people. <laughs> mm. For it's both fucking guns. nasty, huh? For both guns, too. Not the second sniper, sniper, just the one sniper because it's 50 cal. Oh, yeah. But what's also sweet is I'm a phantom, so phantoms get 20, 20 extra health points, you know? Everyone's at 100, you're at 120. So it's cool to have that little bit of health and a little bit more health and more bullets. <laughs> yeah, that that would be a problem for me. I'd be like, all right, we need more snipers in this game. Yeah, right. yeah. I'd be I'd be done with that. These snipers are some snipers are nasty. Like, I, I peek out and I'm fucking dead. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> like, some people are really good. Some people suck. Can you, can you do, like, an angled peek around corners in that game? No. No, there's none of that. There's just sprint. I like that. Sprint, slide, jump. There is some sort of slide canceling. There is, like, bee hopping right now when you shoot. You can kind of jump up and down pretty quick. I like doing the bee hopping. Yeah, but I think they're going to nerf that or fix it a little bit because there's no... There's no shot. It doesn't mess with your shot when you move around. Nice. So there's like Ooh, no penalty. It's almost yeah. like a laser. So I'm like trying to shoot people and they're like fucking all flipping around and shit. 
That's crazy. Break the game's mechanics and shit. Yeah. What I try to do is... My usual loop is you spawn, switch to your pistol, and you can run like fast as shit. Mm. Uh, got a trusty shield like Reinhardt. <laughs> yeah, man, if you get a PC or an Xbox, you got to get this. Try it out. Oh, I'm going to. I, I, I'm, I'm planning on getting the new Xbox soon. It's only going to be a matter of time. Yes. Yeah, let's let, then uh, just get it out on the really street and kill the streets. Like, one of these days, I'm just going to come up in here and be like, yeah, well, I got the new Xbox today. <laughs> I just did it. Just jumped on it. Killed the, killed the skin off. The, peel, peel, ripped the band-aid off, you know? Yeah. My cons are slow as shit. Trying to play with anyone on any game is, like, crazy. Every time I try to um, on my play a game damn. called Chivalry with my friends. Oh, yeah, Chivalry. It takes, like, 45 minutes to figure out how to, like... Invite me, load me in, and by the time it's we play a match, hell. they all want to go play something else. <laughs> so like, yeah, we've already played a little bit. I'm like, damn. Yeah, like I'm done. I'm already done. Yeah, they just move on to something else. Now, so sucks. I've been really getting into um, just not playing anything. I <laughs> still I know, right? That's just how it's been. Yeah, it's nice taking a gaming break. All right. Say what? It's nice taking a gaming break. Nah, for real. Especially when you're, the games you're playing are like fucking abusing you. <laughs> <laughs> they're like bad. For, they're all, I feel like they're bad for your like mental health. Yeah, definitely. No, definitely, dude. Like, I feel like... When Halo was really bad in the beginning, I, I brought that up to my therapist dude on <laughs> my Zoom call. I was like, yeah, uh, there's a fucking game that I grew up with and it fucking is horrible and it's a horrible game. <laughs> Were you talking about Halo? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Halo's getting you talking about it in therapy. Dude, it's that bad, dude. It's a travesty.